So we've talked extensively about waivers and exemptions. Another area that comes up um, where I see a lot of people get into problems is whether they need a consent to reapply or not. For a consent to reapply, you need if you have been deported or removed from the United States. So let's go back to Mr. John Brown, who lived in the United States lawfully for a certain period of time. At some point, Mr. John Brown was ordered removed. In other words, he was deported from the United States. What most people don't realize is that simply because you were ordered removed doesn't mean you're immediately shackled and taken out of court. No, your, your order of removal is entered, you leave and you go home to your family. Typically the immigration judge says you have to leave within 30 days or you have to leave within X or you leave um, if you're not going to file an appeal. Most people just continue living their lives. It's now five years later and Mr. John Brown has a qualifying relative and he would like to sort his papers out. Mr. John Brown, in addition to needing the waivers that we have discussed for the unlawful presence, he will also need a permission to reapply. Why? Because technically he shouldn't even be in within the United States. He should have departed. So because he has not departed, he will need to file an application for a consent to reapply. Keep in mind if you're exempt or if you don't require a waiver, there's no application for you to file. That determination will simply be made, be made by the adjudicating officer. Compare that to consent to reapply. This is an application you will file. When you look at the application for consent to reapply, you will see that it mirrors the unlawful presence waiver because the factors, one of the factors that are included is extreme and unusual hardship to a United States citizen, spouse, parent, or child. So it's one of those areas, again, where we're still going to ask the same questions about what is the hardship. So the consent to reapply is the close sister cousin, of course, to the waiver, but sometimes you will need both, you will need a waiver, and you also have to ask for consent to reapply. Have I confused you enough? That is why you need to consult with an immigration attorney. My name is D Attorney Diani Winterfunde, and until next time, my friends, walk good.